Welcome back. Milwaukee is home to dozens of historic buildings, and tonight we feature the splendor of the Wisconsin Conservatory of Music. If you walk down Prospect Avenue on Milwaukee's east side, you can hear the sound of music. It's coming from the Wisconsin Conservatory of Music. The former McIntosh and Goodrich Mansion overlooks the lake. It was built in 1903 for Charles McIntosh and his wife, and later sold to William Goodrich in 1921. Goodrich was a musician himself. The building was actually sold um, by the last owner of the building, which was the Goodrich, the widow of the Goodrich, which was actually a Paps, um, to the conservatory for $50,000, and it's been home to the conservatory ever since. The conservatory has made good use of the space. This location serves up to 8,000 students. The beginning age range is from four months, and we have people well into their 80s and 90s that actually continue to take music classes and lessons and things of that nature here at the conservatory. So we're truly an environment where people of all ages can come and enjoy and participate and practice you know, this particular art form. This building is original. There have been no additions. It was built by H.R. Wilson, an architect from Chicago. When it was a home, it featured 13 bedrooms, a ladies and gentlemen salon, several elaborate fireplaces. The home had a music and ballroom that's still being used today. And this um, particular room has been held as one of the jewel box um, performance rooms in the in the city and so when you talk about you know small you know concert venues and and the acoustics and all the upgrades that have been happened this is one of the best places to come and listen to concerts all of the rooms are used here people of all ages learn the joy of music on the east side of the building of course every room has this view of Lake Michigan that they get to look out just inspiring you know, type of environment to be in in order to learn music. If you want to come and see this musical mansion for yourself, you can. It's free and open to the public. We have a number of brochures, you know, that are throughout the building that allows people to come in and, and pick up a brochure and do their own self-guided tour of the building. And so, you know, that way they can learn a little bit more about the history. So if you find yourself taking a stroll on Milwaukee's east side, you might want to check out the Wisconsin Conservatory of Music, not only for the stunning sounds, but for the captivating architecture. It's a Milwaukee gem built in the past that we can all applaud today. We have students that are in and out of the building all day long taking lessons and various recitals and all kinds of activity. Usually more towards the two or three o'clock hour is when you really start to hear like the music start to come alive in the building. And special thanks to our talented assignment editor, Mary Franzen, who wrote and produced that piece. By the way, the Wisconsin Conservatory of Music has two other branches, one in Brookfield, the other in Bayside. All of the schools serve about 20,000 students of all ages. Well,